I can't believe the Continental will have only three episodes. To be honest, now that I watch episode two, I can't get enough of the show. The production quality is unmatched, the story is engaging, and almost all characters are highly charismatic, almost as charismatic as John Wick himself. Of course, there are some downsides to the show as well. For instance, there are too many characters. I mean, seriously, too many. If you don't look at the screen for even a second, you might come across a brand new character you haven't seen before. And guess what? That character might have a crucial importance for the plot. Yes, this is very annoying, but not as annoying as being worthy of such a low rating on IMD. Seriously, guys, why do you keep downvoting the Continental? Am I missing something here? Anyways, let me get into episode 2 of the show so that we can see whether the show is worthy of praise or curse. This episode's title was Loyalty to the Master, and personally, I can't think of a better or more accurate title. The episode was filled with lots of action scenes as always and once again shed light on the shared past of Cormac and Winston through flashbacks and storytelling. We learned that back in the day, Winston suggested Frankie steal from Cormac. The two brothers immediately attracted the attention of Cormac, and their lives changed completely. The interesting thing is that Cormac decided to take them under his wings as he saw potential in them. He believed that these two brothers would be loyal to him. And yes, loyalty has a very grand meaning for Cormac, so grand that attempting to steal from him might end up in a very brutal death for the stealer. Frankie was the first victim of this in episode 1, at least the one that we saw. But Frankie wasn't directly involved with his death. He hired mediators to handle the task on his behalf of him. In episode 2 though, we saw that the disloyalty is very personal to him, to the point of crossing the line and committing a murder on the grounds of the Continental. I know that this screen took place at the very end of the episode, but sorry not sorry, it had such an impact on me that I basically forgot about all the things that took place previously. Yes, we are still looking for the coin press that Frankie stole. Or Frankie's widowed wife is a total badass who escaped a terrorist group in the past and now is on Winston's team to combat Cormac. Or, the detective lady is very smart, and has no fear of getting deep into the dark side of her city. Or, there is a racial fight between blacks and Asians in the city. I can go on and on about things that took place in this episode because there are simply too many. However, none were as interesting as Charon's storyline. First, we learned that he was loyal to Cormac because he wanted to make his papa please and bring him to the US with the help of Cormac. Then, we watched him refusing Thomas' offer to leave the Continental together. Then we saw that he already knew Winston and welcomed his offer to go against Cormac and basically become a dual agent. But then we saw him going back to the Continental and seeing Thomas' bloody dead body, brutally smashed and killed by Cormac. Cormac explains the situation immediately, clarifying that he killed Thomas because he was trying to steal from him. This was enough of an intimidation for poor Charon as he received the message. So he gave in and revealed that Winston offered him cooperation. And then he asked Mavely, what did Thomas steal? Cormac's response was epic, he tried to steal you. Now I believe this was the defining storyline of episode 2. And I believe by killing Thomas, Cormac made an enemy of Charon to himself. Yes, you heard it right. I don't think that Charon will be loyal to Cormac for so long. I believe you will take his friend's revenge in the next episode, where we will witness Cormac's death and the hotel's transfer to Winston's occupation. But what do you think? Which scene left the most impact on you in episode 2? Let me know what you think in the comments below and don't forget to like, subscribe, and share the video. Thank you for watching, see you soon.